Hey guys, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. We're uh, down the, the California coast near the Redwood National Park, staying at a favorite uh, RV park of ours called uh, Elk Country. And uh, in the past, uh, we've seen uh, herds of elk come into the campground and lie around and eat the grass. Nothing so far. We've been here a few days. Um, kind of a foggy morning. Starting to clear up though. Looks like it's going to be a sunny day. Anyway, uh, today I'm back with my uh, review of the Halo View backup camera that I installed a couple weeks ago. I'll link to that in the description. If you remember, I installed it in place of my previous system that was a Taddy Brothers uh, backup camera. So there it is up on the roof. And so it's, I've put it to a good test now. We've had uh, a good couple weeks of, uh, of travel, probably six, seven hundred miles out in a number of different conditions from uh, rain and fog to bright sunny skies to urban environments on freeways and backcountry roads and campgrounds so I'll come back here and uh, give you a give you a review let's go in the, the truck and uh, take a look at what the display looks like and I'll go through uh, its features and some of my likes and a few of my uh, dislikes Here we are inside the truck, and this is sort of my eye-level view of things. Um, so I've had the, the camera mounted right there on the, on the dash um, using uh, a beanbag I had for my Garmin uh, setup. Um, like I say, you can look at the installation video for that. Um, I think I will in the future change that. I'd like to get some sort of mount for the rear view mirror that I could take this and just attach it onto the rear view mirror when I'm towing. That way it would get it up off the dash and it'd be a kind of a natural place to look at. This is okay though. It's it's worked <coughs> it's worked fine for <coughs> excuse me. It's worked fine for uh for our travels here. Let's turn it on and you'll see how fast it uh syncs up. There we go. So we're on. Now um it's going to be brighter in real life than it shows up out here on the camera because uh, with the sun coming through here, kind of the camera has to work hard to, uh, to adjust for the brightness, but I'll give you an idea. There we go. There's the scene behind the, the RV right now. And uh, that's one of the big improvements was the quality to display was a lot higher than my previous uh, backup camera. This thing uh, is listed as 720p resolution and, and it, it does look a, quite HD um, in quality so that's really nice. You can also hear a bit of uh, sound coming through there. Um, so it has, a, it has a rear microphone as well. I usually turn that off because when you're, when you're driving around it uh, it kind of gets annoying. You got a quick adjust of, of brightness here. The buttons have a really good feel to them. Um, not cheap or cheap or anything. It's quite a quite a quality built uh, display, and the camera is quite quality built. So I'm happy that way. Um, I don't use it much as a backup camera per se. It's kind of nice to see when I'm backing in what's there, but uh, Anne and I kind of back up as a team, so she, she we've done it for years and years. She's got hand signals and everything, so so we work quite well together. So its big killer feature for me is as a as a rear view camera while I'm driving on the highway. I can see right behind me, and it's also a wide. It's got quite a wide angle to it. So when I'm on a, say, in a town or a freeway with multiple lanes, I can not only see the lane behind me, I can see lanes off to the side. So uh, I found with the, the new truck and the, and the Ram mirrors, I have virtually no blind spots anymore because this camera shows me everything behind the rig. And my new, uh, new uh, mirrors are really good at going all the way down the side and straight beside me. So... I think that's really really helped safety wise. Also, this display I really like the the color color reproduction. 
Um, the previous one was kind of washed out, desaturated, and the overall color balance leaned a bit pinkish. Whereas this one has a much better color balance, more vibrant display to it, and sharper. Um, I do notice when I'm when I'm going down the road at a at a at a higher speed, like say you know highway speed, it does suffer from some jitter. Um, you know when you see signposts or trees going by. I'll give you some some sample footage to look at, um, <clears throat> and also the resolution kind of drops and the picture pixelates a bit but I wouldn't call it unacceptable it's still still really good to see what's behind you and then of course when you're going much slower backing in it's uh, super sharp and it, and get the motion is more fluid also I find this display does a really good job in high dynamic range lighting conditions where the lighting is really harsh like um, if you're backing into say a sunset, um, a lot of other displays and cheaper cameras, the image would be super washed out. This one seems to seems to handle that quite well, so you can still see in the shadows. Um, so that was quite nice. As for audio quality, it's pretty poor. Um, I'll give you I'll give you a short. Uh, recording I did of myself saying something behind the, the camera and you can see it's quite distorted and, and kind of scratchy so it doesn't do a great job as audio. Okay, guys, a bit of a sound test for you. Check one, two, check one, two, two feet away from the camera. Okay, roughly uh, 12 feet from the camera. Make sure you go to loveyourrv.com and sign up for the monthly newsletter. Maybe 25 feet away from the camera. Make sure you go to my Amazon page. Okay. Well, I was I actually forgot it even had audio to it started making a funny noise. And I'm like, what's that funny noise in the cab? I couldn't figure it out until I found out it was coming out of the display. So I usually run with this this muted, although I notice it does uh, record the audio. That's the other big feature of this this uh, this system is it's got a built-in DVR function. So on the top, I'll show you in a minute. It has a, a micro SD card slot, so you can get an SD card up to 128 gigabytes, and it'll record as you go. That's uh, what I'm going to be showing you throughout this video. Is some of the recordings I made while we were traveling and you can you can kind of see it does a pretty good job um, I think it could come in handy if you ever get in a, a traffic accident you know I've got my uh, my Garmin dash cam up there that would record what's going on in front of the RV but it would be handy to also have a recording of what went on behind especially if someone comes and rear ends me or, and runs away or something you know also maybe for security I could leave it recording around the, the campground, just leave it on, and it, and it would record what's going on behind the, the rig there. So that's kind of cool. And you can have it set so that it, it'll record, fill the card and stop recording, or what I have, I have it will overwrite at the end of the loop. So, so it'll just keep overwriting itself, so you'll always have what, how many hours of recording. I think I, I just bought a cheap card to start with. It was about... 10 bucks or something like that for a 16 gig card and it it seems to do plenty of hours i don't know maybe like 15 or 20 hours <clears throat> next what everybody's always interested in is because it's a wireless um unit not a hardwired unit um you know it can have problems with glitching and uh and not maintaining its connection but i can say with all honesty we've been towing like I say for many many hours all the way from BC down to California and I haven't seen it turn off blackout or glitch once at all and that's even in urban areas so uh, my previous one the Taddy Brothers one was pretty good it would remain a maintain a solid connection along the 
highways and stuff but if I did get into town I would notice I would get short quick blackouts and some real um, excessive shuddering and jittering in the picture <clears throat> and that was probably due to the the noise this thing runs on a Wi-Fi frequency 2.4 gigahertz and I guess that uh, that uh, when you're in an urban environment there's a lot of other signals like that so it would suffer it this one seems to have better uh, better uh, noise uh, cancellation or something because it's solid even in the cities I found um, now I'm a 30 foot rig uh, 45 total length so you know people's uh, uh, experiences may vary I know if you have a super long rig say 38 feet or something you uh, you may not get enough signal strength you know they say they want line of sight between the two antennas well with a fifth wheel of truck that's going to be pretty well impossible if you can mess around with channel or or antenna orientation i don't really like to run it like that it's right you know up in the way i tuck it the other way and it's been fine but uh this long antenna is supposed to actually help out too with the signal strength so one <coughs> solution they have if you don't have enough signal strength is it <coughs> Excuse me, dry and dry today. <clears throat> One solution they have is they have an extender antenna kit. I think it goes to 16 feet. So you can plug that into your camera and then move that antenna forward along the roof line so that you can uh, get it closer to the, the display and have a, a better connection. But I'd have to say, you know, for a wireless signal, I'm quite pleased with it. It's worked really well for, for our rig. No complaints there. Next, I'll just go through some of the adjustments in there. Show you the main menu here. You see, you've got volume picture, uh, mirroring. Uh, let's go into the picture. You got brightness, contrast, color. Uh, oops. There we go mirror so you can you can change the picture orientation with this flip it around as you need so I'm using it as a rear view camera so I kind of I, I kind of like to have it flipped the opposite way so it makes sense for me driving forward there's also your different camera modes so this thing can handle up to four cameras uh, sync up to four so you can have it uh, in different uh, you can have it split mode between the different cameras you can have all four cameras at once that sort of thing I only have one camera now also it will record whatever's on the screen Go into the settings menu for you here got time um, color system and it's got an auto dimmer as well for bright conditions and then come on brighter at night. What do we got here? Auto scan that just would, would scan the, the, the multiple cameras. Park line, you know, if you're using it in a, in a regular backup camera situation, you sometimes want those lines on. This is the recording thing where you set up your, your uh, SD card. Uh, you want, you can format it and tell it to record or not. And, and tell it to loop the recording and we got play you can play the recordings and then there's pairing to uh, pair the cameras together I found it uh, it paired really fast and once it's paired with the camera it just instantly does it automatically pairs every time so it's pretty easy it's pretty well laid out um, easy to get at all the functions no complaints there Let's just go here. If you press select, oops, get rid of the menu. If you press select, it cycles through the different cameras. And there's the one with the, the bars on it. And then there's some icons up top. I don't know if you can see them here. It just says it's recording. And it says it's recording in a loop, and then it's got the little SD card symbol, so it just means you're recording everything on there.
There, I'm just playing back some footage from before uh, coming off the SD card there. And I'll kind of go through my likes and dislikes list for you. Um, number one like is the bright and clear display. And like I say, the camera doesn't show as, as bright as it actually is in real life just because of the, the different brightness levels it's trying to deal with. That's where the human eye does better than even a good camera. Um, it has an IPS display. That basically means you can look at it from different angles. Like a cheaper display, if you're off too far, you lose a lot of brightness and, and color. This one, you can go 170 degrees. That's just the type of really quality LCD display it has. Um, also, the camera has the wide viewing angle camera, so you've got a nice kind of fisheye camera on the back, and that's to, so you can see off to the side. It has, in my experience, the Wi-Fi connectivity has been excellent for my size of rig. I can't say for sure if you've got a really long rig, or sometimes you have something running in your RV that can interfere. So my advice is if you, if you do get it, don't install it permanently until you've actually checked the conductivity because you may need to get that extra booster antenna. You know, just some advice there. Um, high definition resolution. Like I say, it's better when it's slow or stationary. This kind of shows you what it's like when you're moving along pretty good. Still not too bad. You know, if I'm cruising down the road, I, I get to see that over there. So that's quite acceptable. Let's see. Next, uh, handles tough lighting conditions. Like, I'm really impressed with, with how it handles the, the really bright conditions. Especially when we're coming down the coast here, a lot of times the it's cloudy and then the sun breaks through and, and you got a wet road that's reflecting. It does a pretty good job job there. Um, up to four cameras you can have on this. Um, comes with its own mounting hardware and uh, accessory cables. Like I just have this plugged into a, a lighter socket over here. Just very simple, but there is a, a cord that comes where you can set this up to even trigger different trigger it on in different events like you turn a turn signal on and a camera will come on stuff like that um also the the camera itself mounted on the rig is ip69 waterproof rating which is really one of the the top ratings you can get for for waterproof and i haven't had any problems i went through a few rainstorms that were really torrential ter rain in washington state so we got a good soaking test also i was looking on their website uh today and it, and it says that this has a 12 month warranty and also 12 month return policy so if they honor that that's really good so that's my likes some of the dislikes are of course that distorted sound from the camera mic it's very minor because i don't really i'm not really interested in the sound that much uh the long antenna there can block your dash view. It's really long and thick, so can quite get in the way of things. <clears throat> and also very poor night vision. I did a test um, the other night in pitch black, and it's okay. You can see me, but it's the resolution drops a lot, and the range of it isn't great. So I don't think they have very many uh, infrared LEDs on the on the camera, so it doesn't really light up that well. Well, there you go it's kind of a, a brief overview of the the review if you want to you want more in-depth details on all the specs I've written up a full blog post on the love your RV blog so I'll link to that 
there's some more pictures and, and some more information there on the camera and links to, to Halo View if you want to check it out there or also it's available on Amazon. I think it goes right now for about $249, which is not the cheapest ones on the market, but definitely not the most expensive. I think the, the Taddy Brothers system I had was around 400 or so. So I'd say it's a pretty good uh, value for the price. You get pretty good quality. Um, I'm going to continue using it on this snowbird trip. You know, we have, we're have we going to be down here for four or five months. And then I'll come back and let you know, you know how it's performed over time. Um, if it continues to to perform like it has I'll be super happy with it and can well recommend it so like anything else time will tell and, and I'll be sure to uh, update on update you on the review in the future Till next time Ray from LoveYourRV.com thanks for watching folks hope those elk show up they're cool when they come cheers everyone they came they came just as I was editing the video this afternoon the herd showed up there's a few little ones there wow there are literally two campsites over from us right now <laughs>